Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build at 25,284. Well, this is a smaller build from Microsoft for the dev channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what has changed, what has improved, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, where we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, what you need to know about this build is that this build will not be available for ARM64 devices due to a known issues that you can find in the article below in the video description that is resulting in devices getting stuck at the OS boot logo. Regarding this build, Microsoft is trying out a new widget. With the release of Windows App SDK 1.2, developers are now able to create widgets for their apps. For this build, the Messenger app now has a preview version of its widget available. To try it, of course, you're gonna have to go into the Microsoft Store and update to the latest version of Messenger. Just go into library and then get updates if you already have it installed or if you don't have it installed just search for it here and make sure you have the latest version. And after everything is updated you should go into the widgets port and then click on the plus button and you should have the Messenger widget that you can add to the widgets board. And you'll see that the Messenger widget will be added to the widgets board and of course you have to log in to Messenger in order to see your messages and so on. I think this is pretty cool and um, it's nice to see see apps like these starting to be available for the widgets section. As for new features and improvements, this is pretty much it for this build unless there is something hidden, but if there is something hidden in this build, we're gonna make future videos in the coming days. As for fixes regarding taskbar and system tray, they fixed an issue where right clicking on certain icons in the hidden icons flyout would make the flyout dismiss rather than bringing up the context menu for that icon. Regarding the search on the taskbar, they fixed an explorer.exe crash which was impacting some insiders related to the search box in the taskbar. Regarding input, when search suggestions are triggered while using the Pi in IME, keyboard focus will now stay on the current candidate. To move focus to the search suggestions, press tab. Regarding windowing, they fixed an issue for PCs with touch, where when using certain apps in full screen mode, it wasn't possible to swipe down from the top of the screen to make the title bar appear. Other fixes, they fixed an issue which was causing certain apps to hang or crash when saving files as PDF in the last few builds. They also fixed an issue where using the cap option in an app may unexpectedly not show any devices in recent builds. So basically this is all there is to it in this build. As I've said this is a smaller build but it's nice to see that we have finally a preview for the messenger app and the widget sport. As I've said for the list of known issues make sure to check out the article below in the video's description and of course more info about this build. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozzy Mario from tech base until next time have a nice day.